Hey, welcome to a Theology on Thursday. I want to continue Genesis 1 and, and 2 and 3 as we think about um, the creation story and as we think about our place in all of this. Uh, as God creates us, He places us in this uh, garden and He gives us everything that is needed. Uh, I think oftentimes one of the best parts about the garden would have been the community with God that Adam and Eve were able to share. And so God places man in the garden in chapter three with the intent that they enjoy the life that he has given them to get from uh, him what they needed to get from him all the things that that comes with life, their uh, source of food, their source, source of joy, their source of wisdom and understanding. And they put him there and her there to enjoy all that with God, to be in the company with him. But there's a choice in the garden. Uh, just like we talked about last night on our video with, with uh, Samson, there is a choice to make. Uh, and Samson ends up seeing that it's good in his eyes to do something. And so there's a couple of trees in the garden to choose from. One is a tree of knowing good and bad. And the other is a tree of life. Uh, much like in Psalm 1. Uh, Psalm 1 and 2 kind of talk about uh, humans being described as a tree. And we see that the way that a tree is described as being good when it is planted near good waters and it is able to produce fruit. And we see that it's bad when it puts itself around evil things and it allows itself to be made in evil choices, uh, put around evil choices. And that is described as uh, like a chafe, that person that is driven away by the wind. And so Adam and Eve have a choice to make. And we have choices today to make as well. Uh, notice in Genesis chapter 2, verses 15 to 17, the Lord God took the human and put him into the Garden of Eden to work it, keep it. The Lord God commanded the man, saying, From any tree of the garden you sh may surely eat. But from the tree of knowing good and bad you shall not eat. For in the day that you eat from it you will surely die. I want us to notice that the first command uh, doesn't place the tree of life off limits. And the tree of life is available to them. But instead, God wants humans to enjoy the gift of eternal life. The tree of God, uh, the tree of good and bad, is a warning about forfeiting what God has already given them, which is everything they need. The choice becomes to enjoy what God uh, gives or to try to find it on your own. And that's where we find ourselves a lot of times. Trying to decide, are we going to do what God wants us to do? Or are we going to try to find happiness and then enjoyment and all the things that we seek out of life, wisdom and understanding on our own? Do I choose how God wants me to live or do I choose to live for self, to make my own way, to gain wisdom on my own? You see, what God wanted was for man to become wise by communing with him. What Eve was tempted with was to become like God instantly. Uh, just like today, the serpent inverts the words of God. And Eve sees, desires, and takes what it is that she wants. And so when they are uh, eat from the tree, they are forced to see their own vulnerability. And that forces them to uh, then go and hide. They're then forced from the garden so they can't eat from the tree of life and live forever uh, in that state. But because of who God is and because he is a good God, uh, there's a promise made through all this that an offspring of these two would later come to curse the serpent, would put an end to the serpent, would put an end to this curse that cast them out of the garden, and that eventually we would be reunited with him and we could also have eternal life. There are choices to make today. Let's make an effort to choose to live the way that God wants us to, to live by God's desires, to, to take advantage of all the things that he's already given us, and live in the ways that he's already given us to live and realize our, our errors, the errors that we have in living for ourselves and for our own desires. And let's do something to correct those errors. Let's choose to live for the one who made a way for us to live eternally. That's Thursday Theology. Hope you have a great day.